Coming up on the DMT One to One Show, episode 64, on the 11th of June 2014, an interview with the Yao Afonso, CEO of the company Musiki. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT One to One Show and it's a real pleasure today to welcome Yao Afonso uh, from the company Musiki. So hi Yao and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Fine. Th- thanks for having me here. And uh, everything is going really, really well. Right it's now. great to have you. And uh, uh, of course, uh, we're here to talk about uh, Musiki, the company that uh, uh, you started, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's great. And so, uh, first of all, before we jump into the demo of, of, the, of the company and the app that uh, we're going to try and do live, uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, you know, where Musiki started and what was the idea behind the company? Okay, so it all started in 2010 when I, I had this idea that we could use the content that is out there to generate, dynamically generate uh, an artist profile, an artist, uh, an album or a song profile and information. So I started explaining uh, to you know, people around me, my friends, family, how the concept would work and people, uh, people didn't get it that well, so I I had to make a prototype to you know to try to explain it. So um, I made one based on APIs basically, and I showed it to two friends of mine, Julian and Pedro, who are now my co-founders. They like it. We improved it. We created a version to submit to idea competitions uh, in Portugal. Uh, we ended up uh, the first one that we tried. We weren't even selected, uh, right. <laughs> but but the prototype had to go online and it started being shared and used by um, uh, a lot of users from a lot of different countries. And we we thought so the jury didn't like it, but the users did, which is better. Uh, and we improved it. We applied to other competitions. We eventually won an international venture competition co-organized by the MIT. We got 200,000 euros in investment in 2012. And then when we when we received the award, we that's when we you know dedicated full time to the to the to the startup and started working on, on the versions that we are about to release. Uh, we are releasing now, so that's great. That's and great. so uh, the company has got a, quite a strong tech background. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, how how important is the user part for you, and how important is, is the back end, the tech part, and the API side? Of course, yeah. Well, we we started, as I said, working with APIs. But we realized that we needed more than the, the, what we could get to to get to the level of the the kind of use, uh, user interface we would like to have, the, the kind of experience we like to give to the users. So you said that you know the company has a strong tech background, but we we believe that our company is about music first and tech second. Yeah. But we to give that music first feeling, you need to have a, a really um, good data side of um, you know music data behind you. So that's what we that's we sp- what we actually spend more time working on to get really good at, at the data side of things. And that's why we are now also ready. Besides you know launching the the iOS app and having our web version, we're also ready to open our uh, API to to partners to use it and and to use the knowledge that we gather through the last few years to also improve their, their, the experience on their platforms. That's great. And so uh, let's uh, jump right into it and have a look at the app now uh, and uh, uh, we're going to give a live demo so things could go wrong but uh, uh, <laughs> not to worry so that's the uh, start screen and, uh, and so uh, there we are so we have logged in and we're at the start screen so uh, st- uh, if you want to talk me through it I'm uh, quite yeah, happy to so do the demo well, while um, we go I- on it. Yeah. At, at first, well, 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 when you well, you start using the app, you will start at the search uh, area, and then from here you can search an artist or band, albums or songs. Um, afterwards, as you start using the app, we will start. You know, we can show show to the to the, to our audience later. We can start on the um, on the feed area. So we right. can go there in a few moments. So you, you search nine inch nails. If you if you choose nine inch, what happens? Uh, right now is that we, we're collecting the information in the precise moment you hit, is, hit search, so yeah. tap search. So the idea is to always have the latest update information of the artist, uh, the album or the song. So we get, you know, we create a preview of the artist's most listened songs. You can buy the, the artist's work through iTunes now, but we'll be adding yeah. uh, new um, um, stores, mostly for um, uh, physical formats like vinyl and CD as oh, well. Great. Awesome. And you have you know, biography, uh, yeah. I have the details and links, videos, albums. 
And this is pretty cool actually, you get you get all the details on the band members and everything else. Yeah. The past band members, but also links to uh, all the different social media sites including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud and Instagram. And it's, it's quite a, a good aggregation because there aren't actually a lot of resources that allow you to have all that data. Yeah, and we were trying to get even better. So this is just the first version that we're launching. So the, the members that you showed in j j just a few seconds ago, yeah. the, what we want to reach is that if you press, um, if you tap one of the, the, the band member's name, you also build the musician profile. Right. And the idea is that you never stop. So if you go to the album and you get the producer, we also want to add uh, you know, the, the producer page, the, the sound engineer page. So we want everything there to be related and clickable and you can reach to more information because not only can it give you, uh, you know, more knowledge about what you love, the music that you like, they can also help you discover new things. So the idea right. is that you, you, you'll get to discovery through knowledge uh, of, music, of music. So if you, if you, for example, if you, if you show the related artists, you can see that we not only have you know, similar artists like you have on most um, most applications, but we also have from the same label, we have collaborations. So the idea is, is that is to use data so you can find more music and to get to more music. That's great. And so uh, we're now in the video section, having a look at the videos that are available. It looks really nice and, and neat. And is that, is that pulling from YouTube, I, I imagine? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we are, and we, we were, for, uh, for starters, we were getting from the official um, channels of, of the artists, but we're also adding in the next couple of weeks the sources from, uh, you know, official media uh, channels um, and uh, the labels channels as well. So yeah. the idea is that because some artists have their own music channel, others rely on, on the label. We have good uh, official videos coming in, you know, from Pitchfork TV and, and things like that. So we want to, to add all, the, all that, that content. That's great. Uh, and we're now in the, in the studio, in the album section, and uh, there's a studio album, singles and live albums as well. So how hard is it? Uh, I know that a lot of services still struggle with release dates. How hard is it to get the release dates right uh, these days <laughs> more it, more difficulties w with the older ones because you know you don't know the exact day of release exactly uh, it's, it's, more, it's more difficult but we're trying to what we're trying to, to reach is this is just as I said this just the basis of something yeah w our web version will also be updated in the next couple of months and uh, the last few months and the idea is to let you know ask the user to complete missing gaps of information or use yeah. different uh, data sources to complete the missing gaps of information. So, you know, get information not only from the sources that we have, but from others and complete uh, the information that we have. That's great. So we, we'll be getting better as we, as we go. That's great. And uh, uh, of course, we've seen there that we got rerouted to Pitchfork uh, in the news section uh, to mm -hmm. link out to the news as well. And uh, uh, so the social is a, is a direct uh, hook into the uh, band's tweets. That's awesome, actually. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, tweets and, and Facebook, we will also be adding Instagram. And for now, we have, you know, we tr we're trying to, to make sure that we take off uh, the you know the tweets that are not related with the band is trying to yeah. improve the algorithm to that. For now, to make sure we only have you know official tweets, mentions, retweets, but we're getting to a point where we can use the data to curate you know to curate the tweets on the web, so we can get get a lot of more um, tweets coming in from di different sources. That's great. Um, but it, it will take us a few a few a few months. Again. Yes. So. Yeah. Sure. And then and then of course the one section that a lot of companies are uh, trying to get right is that of related artists so what are you basing that that information on and, and how, how do you make that call yeah we're basing our uh, basing it on the similar ones that are coming we're pulling in from last fm and and uh, sources like that but we are also uh you, as i said using the data to give you more related artists so right you have from the same label you have collaborations that the artists uh, uh made you know it's i think it's a cool way to discover music because basically the artist is telling you that also they work with them, so they like the, the, the music that the people they collaborated with. So yeah. they also, you know, it's their way of letting you know that you, know, you should listen to this. And we are using that, and we'll be adding more in the in the next few months. Like I said, from the same producer, uh, but they usually the bands they tour with, you know, get more um, ways of getting music inf um, uh, related artists and music discovery into into the app. So yeah, yeah. It's and, really uh, 
and of course uh, uh, here we got the you know one of the first things that you see when you open up the app is the feed um, mm. I am following a few uh, artists but maybe there isn't anything new on those artists quite yet uh, but essentially that's gonna be the first protocol when people turn on the app to see what's happening within the exactly the, exactly the that's you know, people uh, have said to me that you know this is like an IMDB for music but in real time but we want people to come here not as they use the IMDB, so they usually go there when they have any doubt about who, where uh, is this actor, uh, in which movie was this actor um, featured in or something. We want people to come here to Miziki every day. So we created the feed, since, because since we're monitoring the web for new information, we can you know push this new information that we found to the users that are following uh, uh, an artist or a band. So that's the idea, so for now you'll get uh, and from from the launch, you'll get you know new official videos from the bands you follow. But yeah. we'll be adding new releases. We'll be adding uh, nearby shows. We'll be adding SoundCloud snippets and everything that we can think that is official and it's that and it's quality content that can be interesting to the user. We'll be pushing it to you, to, so you, so you have your own music feed every day. You can go there and see what's happening with the I don't know 100 artists that I'm following, and we yeah. can give you that every That's day. Great. That's great, and so uh, uh, and so. Of course, uh, I would recommend uh, uh, everybody to go and check out Musiki. Uh, the app should be out very, very soon. Uh, hopefully, it will be up by the time this show goes live. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, of course, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you also, uh, as uh, somebody that has come to London, sort of uh, to work in the in the music tech industry with a, with a new startup. How, how are you finding it, and uh, uh, how, how are you finding the ecosystem here? I think uh, I think it's fantastic. That, that's that's why we moved. I, I, before we decided to move, I, I you know I've, I've been to London uh, a few weeks every month to to get used to and start to start a network. And you know I, I I believe that we made the right decision. It's it's a lot different. And I mean we're we were based in Portugal, so uh, basically things moved a lot fast in development, but not that fast in, in in business development. But in London, you know. We have everyone. We have. I think this is where the place where the industry is more concentrated. So we have the artists, we have the labels, we have uh, the brands that invest in the music space. You have, um, and we even for a start we have the investor ecosystem as well. So yeah. it's, I think it's the perfect place to be. And we have. I've been making a, a lot of network. And it's been fantastic. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, uh, thanks so much. Again, it's uh, uh, musicky.com or you can find Musicky with a double K on the App Store. And uh, 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 yeah, that was a real pleasure talking to you. I, I look forward to seeing what, what comes out of, of the app. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT 121 show. The show comes out every week uh, and uh, we cover interesting uh, new startups and uh, uh, digital music projects. And also don't forget to visit digitalmusictrends.com for the weekly news show where we cover everything that's happening uh, in the music tech industry on a weekly basis. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week and until next time. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.